Did the ancient Egyptians dream of flight long before the Wright brothers? Following the footprints in Texas, Marcus Moore on the dinosaurs. Thanks to modern science and technology, it's rare to encounter a discovery that still confuses experts. Wu and I's efforts led to the revelation of 24 hand-carved sandstone caverns, hidden for over 2,000 years. But in this video, we will discuss 30 incredible finds that scientists still can't explain. Even with advanced technology, these findings still don't have clear explanations. Number one, Tabby's Star. Tabby's Star is one of the most puzzling space mysteries out there. This star is located about 1,500 light years away from Earth and has been behaving in ways that just don't fit with our usual understanding of stellar systems. Since 2015, when data from NASA's Kepler Space Telescope first revealed its strange behavior, scientists have been left dumbfounded. The star has shown some truly odd dimming patterns, with its brightness dropping by up to 22% for several days at a time. That's not something scientists were expecting, and it's clear our current models just don't cover these kinds of fluctuations. The degree of dimming observed is inconsistent across different wavelengths, with more dimming of ultraviolet light than infrared. People have come up with all sorts of ideas to explain these strange dimming patterns. Some think it could be caused by comets passing by the star, while others have suggested more far-out theories like alien megastructures. Number two, the Baltic Sea Anomaly. As shown by the Baltic Sea Anomaly, the deep sea is full of surprises. A few years ago, Swedish treasure hunters from the Ocean X team discovered a strange formation on the Baltic Sea floor with what appeared to be stair-like structures. Team leader Lindbergh suggested it might be tens of thousands of years old, or possibly a meteorite. This naturally raised some questions. Could it be a crashed UFO, a shipwreck, or even the lost city of Atlantis? So the regular shape means the object could be man-made. Sonar images showed a circular object with stair-like features, but there were doubts about the sonar's resolution and accuracy. This anomaly might just be a natural formation, but that surely doesn't mean that the deep sea does not hold any other secrets. Number three, Longyu Caves. The Longyu Caves are a mystery hidden away in Fingwang Hill, China. This complex of 24 artificial caves was found in 1992. At first, people thought these caves might be natural because their design was so different from other ancient caves, quarries, or ceremonial sites in China. But as experts took a closer look, they realized each cavern had just one entrance, connected to a vertical shaft with stairs that let in rainwater. It looked like the caves were carved from top to bottom using different sizes of chisels, some of which were found in one of the larger caves. Interestingly, a mysterious headless statue was discovered here. The material it is made from is completely different from the stone found in the caves. Despite all this, we still don't know who built them, when or why. There's very little historical evidence, aside from a 17th century Chinese poem by Yu Shun that mentions them. The Longyu Caves keep us guessing, don't they? Whether they were quarries, tombs, storage spaces, reservoirs, military camps, palaces, or even ceremonial sites. Who knows what other secrets are hidden just beneath the surface? Number four, Hesdalen Lights. The Hesdalen Lights are one of Norway's most exciting natural mysteries. For decades, residents of the Hesdalen Valley have reported seeing strange lights in the sky that defy easy explanation. They've been radar tracked at 30,000 kilometers an hour and they appear in the exact same valley several times a year. They've been spotted for over 30 years and they can change color and shape, making them even more confusing. So, what's causing these strange lights? There are a bunch of theories out there. Some folks think it might be linked to natural electrical phenomena. Others suggest that gases released from the valley's soil could be causing the lights. These incredible lights have even left the scientists stumped. Number five, the Moai statues. The Moai statues of Easter Island are one of the wonders of the world that continue to confuse people. 
It's hard not to wonder, how on earth did they get here? The first mystery is, of course, how the Rapa Nui people managed to carve these enormous figures out of rock. We're talking about statues that can weigh up to 82 tons. The vast majority of the Moai were carved from a material called tuff, a type of rock made from compressed volcanic ash. Then there's the question of why the Moai were made in the first place. The general consensus is that they were carved to honor important ancestors. But why do they all face inland, except for a few that look out to sea? Some say they were meant to protect the people or keep watch over the islanders' communities. Guess we'll never know. Number six, the Shroud of Turin. The Shroud of Turin is a linen cloth, known for its hard to understand images of a man who appears to have been crucified. It has been housed in the Cathedral of St. John the Baptist in Turin, Italy since 1578 and is believed by many to be the authentic burial cloth of Jesus Christ. The Shroud's images have been of interest to researchers for decades. Early investigations up until 1978 suggested that the images showed a crucified man supported by the blood patterns on the cloth. In 1988, carbon dating placed the shroud's origin between 1260 and 1390 AD, which implied it could not be from the time of Jesus. Ever since the shroud first really appears in history, uh, there's been controversy about it and there have been questions about its authenticity. Recent tests have challenged the accuracy of this dating, and therefore, this has casted doubt on the previous findings. Number seven, the Dancing Plague of 1518. In July of 1518, people in Strasbourg suddenly couldn't stop dancing. It all started with Frau Trophea, who hit the streets and began dancing away. Soon, dozens of others joined her, turning the whole thing into a full-blown dance party. By August, as many as 400 people were caught up in this dance craze. Local doctors had no clue what was going on and thought the solution was just to keep dancing to sweat out the fever. But things quickly took a turn for the worse. Many dancers collapsed from exhaustion and some even died from strokes or heart attacks. So what might have caused this strange outbreak? Your guess is as good as ours. Number eight, the Koso artifacts. The Koso artifact is an example of an out of place artifact. It is essentially a modern object found in a context where it shouldn't be. On February 13th, 1961, three rock and geode hunters were looking for geodes to sell in their shop. When they cut open one of their finds, they were shocked to find a metal and ceramic cylinder inside. According to one of the discoverers, an archeologist dated the material to 500,000 years ago and noted that it contained what appeared to be a nail and a washer. The artifact has been identified as a 1920s era champion spark plug. The age estimate for the Koso artifact is questionable because it was initially thought to be a geode. However, a thorough examination showed the material was too soft and lacked quartz crystals, which is typical of geodes. But after the initial excitement, the artifact vanished without a trace. Number nine, Roman military mansion. Archaeologists in Rome discovered the remains of a grand residence that belonged to a Roman military commander while expanding the Metro C subway line. This domus was found about 40 feet underground during construction work and features several rooms with beautifully ornate mosaic floors in geometric patterns. A project where ordinary people helped analyze data from Kepler. Four years later, the official research was finally released. Boyajan Star was experiencing consistent. The residence was discovered alongside a military barracks that was found back in 2016 during the same subway project. Some walls still have remnants of plaster paintings, although their designs are somewhat hard to decipher from the photos. The house also seems to have had a heating system. Number 10, Crocodile Stone. The Crocodile Stone is a riddle and a bit of a local legend in the Vatfo Temple Complex in Laos. This rock 
is named after the crocodile shape that's carved into it. It's one of the most unusual features in the Vat Phu Temple Complex, which is in Champasak Province on the Mekong River's west bank. The mountain was pretty sacred in ancient times. So, while the crocodile stone might not have been the site of ancient rituals, it definitely adds a bit of mystery to the sacred vibe of the area. Number 11. The Marfa Lights. The Marfa Lights are a stumper that has fascinated people for generations. These glowing orbs appear in the desert near Marfa, Texas. They hover, merge, flicker, and dart across the desert, especially in an area called Mitchell Flat. Scientists and mystery solvers have been unable to explain the hue of flickering lights. The lights show up unpredictably, and this is one reason why it's so hard to pinpoint their cause. First spotted in 1883, the lights have puzzled locals and scientists alike. During World War II, pilots from a nearby airfield tried to track them down, but didn't succeed. There are several theories about these lights. Number 12. The Faisto's Disc. The Faisto's Disc is a round piece of fired clay. It's covered on both sides with a spiral of mysterious stamped symbols that no one has completely solved. Some of these symbols look similar to those from Linear A and Linear B. Some symbols, however, do bear resemblance to those found in Linear A and Linear B, which were the ancient languages of the Minons. While others resemble hieroglyphs from Anatolia, it's a real mixed bag of ancient writing. Most scholars believe the disc is genuine, but a few skeptics are still unsure about its authenticity. What's got everyone excited now is Owens's theory. His big revelation, the Minoan goddess of love, Astarte, might just be the way to understand this clay disc. According to Owens, this disc might have been used in religious ceremonies or offerings. So, is the goddess of love really the answer to this ancient question? We'll have to wait and see. Number 13. The Saqqara Bird The Saqqara Bird, often called the Saqqara Glider, is one of those artifacts that makes you scratch your head and wonder if ancient Egyptians were ahead of their time. This 15 centimeters long, 1830 CD wingspan contraption weighs about 39 grams and was originally painted to resemble a falcon. Back then, it was considered a cult object, though its exact purpose remains a mystery. So, what's the deal with this thing? Khalil Messiha, an Egyptian physician and parapsychologist, speculated that the bird is a scale model of a monoplane, and if it had a horizontal stabilizer, it could actually glide. The Saqqara bird, a fascinating relic of the past, is not a representation of any bird species known to exist in nature. Number 14. Oumuamua. Oumuamua is the mysterious interstellar visitor who made waves in 2017, and now it has returned for another close encounter with Earth. Some said it looked like a cigar, while others linked it to a pancake. There were rumors back then that it might be an alien spacecraft. The team's observations were supported by NASA's Hubble and Spitzer telescopes, scientists, and their obsession with aliens. However, the more likely explanation is that it's a natural object. Early findings suggest that Oumuamua is made of rock and ice, much like comets we've seen closer to home. Number 15. Dinosaur Tracks Texas has joined the discovery craze with 113 million year old dinosaur tracks at Dinosaur Valley State Park. These prints are normally underwater but have reappeared due to the Paluxy River's low water levels. The newly uncovered Lone Ranger trackway includes 140 footprints from an Acrocanthosaurus and some from the giant Sauro Poseidon. These tracks are preserved in limestone and provide a good understanding of dinosaur life. While the park expects the tracks to be covered again as water levels rise, they seem like they're in stone and they're forever, but they're not. Just the next, the next flood we have, they could be all gone. The drought's impact has illuminated these ancient animals. Number 16, Riddle of the Sphinx. The Great Sphinx of Giza is a massive limestone statue 
sitting near the Great Pyramid in Egypt. Built around 4,500 years ago, its origins and purpose are still debatable. The Great Sphinx, a head as big as a house, its paws as long as a city bus. Most experts believe it was erected for Pharaoh Khafre, who ruled in around 2600 BC. Interestingly, traces of red pigment on the Sphinx suggest it might have been painted in its heyday. There's even speculation that the Sphinx is much older than traditionally believed, based on erosion patterns and the age of nearby structures. The statue's original name remains a mystery, since the term Sphinx comes from Greek mythology. During the Old Kingdom, there were few references to the Sphinx, but by the New Kingdom, it was associated with the god Horus and known as Harmachet. Number 17, the San Pedro Mountains Mummy. In June 1934, two gold prospectors in Wyoming discovered a tiny, well-preserved human body in a hidden cave. Pedro, the mummy, stirred up a lot of questions and debate. He was found sitting cross-legged, about six and a half inches tall, when seated. He had brown, wrinkled skin, sharp teeth, and a gelatinous substance on his head. Initial tests were conflicting. Some scientists thought Pedro was a premature baby, while others believed he was an adult. However, X-rays showed signs of a violent death which added to the confusion. Number 18, the map of Piri Reis. The Piri Reis map was created in 1513 by Ottoman admiral and cartographer Piri Reis. It is one of the oldest post-Columbian world maps still around. The map was drawn on gazelle skin and was surprisingly detailed for its time. It even appears to show Antarctica, which wasn't officially discovered by Europeans until 1820. This has led to some wild theories, including suggestions that ancient aliens might have had a hand in its creation, or that early explorers knew about Antarctica long before we thought. The map was lost to history for over 500 years until it was rediscovered in 1929. The surviving part of the map shows Europe, Africa, and the Americas, but with a few inaccuracies were discovered and accurately charted on the Piri Reis map only 21 years later remains a mystery yet to be solved. Number 19. Neutron stars. Neutron stars are basically what's left when a large star decides it's had enough of being a star and collapses in on itself. They're so dense that a sugar cube-sized chunk of neutron star material would weigh about 100 million tons. These neutron stars are one of two possible final acts for big stars, with the other option being a black hole. NASA even thinks there could be up to a billion of them just hanging out in our Milky Way galaxy. Most of the neutron stars we've spotted are like beacons, flashing intense radiation as they spin at top speed. Older neutron stars, on the other hand, are more winded down. Number 20. The Devil's Kettle Have you ever heard of the Devil's Kettle waterfall in Minnesota? It's one of those natural wonders that's just as mysterious as it is mesmerizing. The Brule River flows into the Devil's Kettle and splits in two. One side continues its journey downstream, while the other disappears into a massive pothole known as the Devil's Kettle. One part falls down a regular waterfall, but the other half disappears into a big round hole in the ground. And no one really knows where that water goes. Seriously, people have tried everything to figure it out, from dye tests to floating objects, but the water just vanishes without a trace. Some theories suggest it might be traveling through hidden underground caves or tunnels before coming out somewhere far away. Others think it could be linked to some secret river system beneath the surface. Whatever it is, it's definitely interesting. Number 21, the Gosek Circle. Back in 1991, German inspectors flying over a small town called Gosek spotted something pretty odd from the air. Beneath a the field, they saw a giant circular ridge. And it wasn't until 12 years later that archaeologists figured out 
It was the remains of an ancient solar observatory. When they dug into it, they found not just remnants of ritual fires and human bones with cut marks, but also a 3,600-year-old bronze disc. This disc looks a lot like the Gosek Circle itself. Gosek Circle is an early Neolithic structure with entrances aligned to the solstices. It's thought to have been built by Europe's earliest civilization. Gosek is one of the most studied among these ring ditches, which were previously thought to be just ancient defenses. Number 22, the Tully Papyrus. The so-called Tully Papyrus is a confusing text that some describe as the first written account of a UFO sighting. Rather than being a typical Egyptian papyrus, the Tully Papyrus is a text that describes in great detail a huge UFO sighting that supposedly occurred in ancient Egypt during the reign of Thutmosis III. This Egyptian text records an event that supposedly occurred during the 18th dynasty, around 1480 BC. So, the real question about the Tully Papyrus is, could this be proof of alien existence? The papyrus was forgotten for centuries until it made a splash in the 1930s. In 1933, Alberto Tulli allegedly stumbled upon this intriguing papyrus in a Cairo antique shop. The papyrus was pretty damaged and had several gaps, but Prince Boris de Rachewiltz managed to translate it. He claimed it was part of the annals of Thutmose III. However, there was a drawback. The text doesn't actually mention the pharaoh by name which adds another layer of skepticism to the whole story. Number 23, the Baghdad Battery. The Baghdad Battery is actually a trio of artifacts that make up this object. It's a small clay pot that was originally about 14 centimeter tall, but is now broken. It was found with a copper cylinder inside and an iron rod sticking out of it. The jars were found in a layer of wet silt and the clay seemed to have been used to hold copper cylinders with iron rods. Koenig published a paper in 1938 where he suggested the Baghdad battery was an ancient power source. But what led him to this? The fact that it had two different metals and might have contained an electrolyte like vinegar or wine, which are the key ingredients for a battery. So what could the Baghdad battery have been used for? Koenig thought it might have been used for gilding or coating one metal with another. The biggest problem with the battery theory is that there's no historical record of it being used or even mentioned, which makes it all the more confusing. Number 24, the bloop. In 1997, researchers tracking underwater volcanic activity in the Southern Pacific picked up a strange, incredibly loud noise that they'd never heard before. They used hydrophones to capture this peculiar sound, which they eventually named the bloop. The bloop was not just loud. It had a signature that had scientists scratching their heads. Was it the result of secret military operations, noisy ship engines, fishing gear, giant squids, or some mysterious sea creature? Years went by with no clear answer, but researchers kept at it. They continued to set up hydrophones closer and closer to Antarctica, hoping to figure out what was making these deep sea rumbles. In 2005, they discovered that the bloop was actually the sound of an ice quake, a huge iceberg cracking and breaking away from an Antarctic glacier. Number 25, Hiawatha Impact Crater. The huge crater at the edge of Greenland's ice sheet turns out to be pretty ancient. This crater, known as Hiawatha, was created by an impact around 58 million years ago. They first spotted Hiawatha in 2015 with NASA's Operation Ice Bridge, which was using radar to measure the ice thickness. The crater is a massive 31 kilometers wide and buried under a kilometer of ice. To figure out its age, scientists had to get creative. They analyzed melt water from the ice which had carried out pebbles and sand with signs of impact, like deformed zircon crystals. Using radioactive dating methods, they pinned down the crater's age to about 58 million years ago. For now, the crater's impact on Earth's climate remains unanswered. Number 26, the Dighton Rock. 
Dighton Rock is probably the world's most mysterious rock. But what's the big deal about this 40-ton giant? It was found in the Taunton River in Berkeley, Massachusetts. And this rock is covered in some seriously puzzling petroglyphs. We're talking lines, squiggly shapes, doodles of people, and mysterious writing that no one seems to understand. The petroglyphs are definitely ancient, but who made them and why is the question. In 1963, the rock was pulled out of the riverbed because the water was slowly erasing its secrets. Over the years, historians and curious minds have floated a bunch of wild theories about who carved these strange symbols. In short, despite all the theories and historical chatter, the Dighton rock question is still unanswered. The real meaning and origin of those carvings, still a rock-solid mystery. Number 27. The Namibian Fairy Circles Fairy circles are strange. Round patches of land pop up. They may sound mythical, but these fanciful formations are very real and have been stumping scientists and stirring up controversy even after decades of study. These are the Namibian Fairy Circles. In the arid grasslands of places like the Namib Desert in Southern Africa and the Pilbara region of Australia. But what's the deal with these fairy circles? Scientists have been confused over their origins for years. Some think termites might be behind them, chewing up plant roots and messing with how water is spread around. Others suggest that grasses could be the masterminds, arranging themselves in circles to maximize their access to the limited water available. So, what's your take? Could it be the work of termites, or are the grasses playing a clever game with water? Number 28. Granite Pyramid Boxes Ever heard of a 100-ton black box near the pyramids of Giza? No. Well, now you have. Discovered in a hillside cave system about 12 miles south of the Great Pyramid, these 24 coffin-shaped black boxes are made from solid Aswan granite. The big questions are, how did the ancient Egyptians manage to build and place these huge boxes, and why? While some of the boxes have hieroglyphics, they're so poorly done that they're basically considered graffiti. These boxes were cut so precisely that they stayed airtight for millennia. But what exactly were they made for? No one knows. Number 29, the Bermuda Triangle. The Bermuda Triangle, sometimes called the Devil's Triangle, has fascinated people with stories of disappearing planes and ships for decades. Covering about 500,000 square miles of ocean off the southeastern coast of Florida, this area has been linked to odd events for centuries. The area's reputation is often boosted by theories about magnetic glitches, sunken cities, aliens, and time travel. However, many experts argue that these stories are more fiction than fact. They point out that the Bermuda Triangle doesn't have a higher rate of disappearances compared to other heavily traveled regions of the ocean. In fact, many incidents in the area can be attributed to human error, weather conditions, and equipment failure. Number 30, the Darvaza, Gate to Hell. Gates of Hell is a real place in Turkmenistan's desert, and it's officially called the Darvaza Gas Crater. It all began in 1971, when a Soviet drilling rig hit a gas reservoir. Geologists in Turkmenistan, they tell me a different story. They say that the crater actually formed in the late 1960s and was gurgling with gas and mud. Causing the ground to collapse and create a massive hole. To prevent dangerous gas leaks, scientists set it on fire, expecting it to burn out in weeks. Instead, it's been blazing ever since. The crater, about 230 feet wide and 100 feet deep, sits over a natural gas-rich area, so the fire keeps going. It's now a popular tourist attraction that draws around 10,000 visitors a year. These were all the unexplainable and interesting finds that we had for you today. It's fascinating how there are still mysteries in this world that scientists can't explain. What do you think about them? Comment down below and let us know. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, goodbye.